Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos. I am trying being up a little bit closer this time around. So let me know what you guys think of like being closer and on me, less surroundings anyways. Um, but today, current favorites, I love to do these every month. I like to include a little bit of fashion, a little bit of beauty, a little bit of health and wellness. Um, so honestly, without further ado, let's just hop right on to the favorites. Um, and yeah. Okay. So the first favorite are these colored claw clips from Amazon, which I'm sure you've seen everywhere, but I absolutely love them. They come in a pack of six. Um, so there's like black, some like tans, nudes, all of that jazz. They come in a pack of six and I just absolutely love them. No other claw clips hold my hair up. And I, cause I have like a pretty thick head of hair and these claw clips, like literally I will work like a six hour shift or so and the claw clip will stay in the whole time. And it's like, it's just next level. I really think you should get them. It's like six for like, I think I got it for like $9 or something like that. Insane. And they are the best. Like you can see, I literally just put my hair up easy. I'm always using them. And I love that there's different colors. I just think they're so fun. So I really would recommend that you get them. Um, they're the best claw clips I've ever used. Okay, next is the Aritzia quarter zips um, by Sunday Best. Everything will be linked down below, but they are just like this little quarter zips. They're so cute, so simple. I wear them all the time. I have them in three colors. So I have that gray, a little white one, and then I also have the black. And I think they're so, like they're pretty affordable for how good of quality they are. I mean, Aritzia is pricey in general, but yeah, I absolutely love them I think they're so cute um and so good for layering like you can always just put them like put a sports bra underneath then put that and then put something over it and like you are good to go all layered up I love layering I just think that it hits different and it's such a move especially in this like spring summer sort of transition but I've even just been wearing that to work out because I love to like sweat more when I work out so I like to wear long sleeves and honestly it's been a move also I really am I can't see and I'm worried I'm not focused what else we probably are okay next is these sandals i hope they haven't sold out yet i don't think they have but if so i'll link a dupe i found these on Bree springs story i'm actually gonna wear them to a study right now oh my god they're so cute they're like the square tip which is so in right now but then they're like a braided they're from h and m and they are such good quality like they're so comfy like i would say they're almost as comfy as the soothies that everyone loves um, and if you watch my vlogs, you know, I wear those all the time, but these guys are like fashion. Like you could wear them with, you could literally put them on with a pair of flowy pants. You could put them on with a dress. You could put them on with leggings, just going out and about. They are cute and they're so fun. Another really versatile piece that I just got that I'm in love with is the Aritzia Ghana jacket. This is it. I will say, oh, hello. I will say it is a little bit pricier um however i think it's worth it i think i like i went with um a dupe to start with it wasn't even a dupe it was just like one that kind of looked like it's a different shirt jacket and i got it from etsy and honestly it just did not work for me um but this guy is next level i think you need it you'll love um okay moving on from fashion that's all i have for fashion Let's move into kind of like lifestyle kitchen type vibes. Um, I actually have a few things. So the first item is my keep cup, but specifically the glass keep cup um, with the cork and then the white lid. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon, but I just love the glass. There's something about drinking a coffee or a matcha or even your green juice out of glass that just, it's different than drinking out of like plastic. <laughs> Um, it just, I think it tastes better. I think it is crisper and I just really like it. And my keep cup, I bought in a keep cup when I was in Australia and it was plastic on the outside, glass on the inside, but it was like bright blue. And I honestly just like needed an upgrade. Um, cause I will use the shit out of my reusable mugs and I love that, but it was time for a new one and this is it and I'm loving it. So pickies up. Okay. 
Next is, so you guys know, if you watch my channel, you know I love a good cold brew. Making my own cold brew. It's more budget efficient, it's fun. You can control your caffeine level. I love it. I got this cold brew maker from Amazon. It usually has a little filter that goes in here. So simple, like 30 bucks. You can buy coffee grounds, put it in, soak for 12 to 24 hours, and bam, you have your own homemade cold brew. And this is a cute little maker for it. So I've been loving it, honestly, and I usually love La Cologne, but this guy hits different. To go along with my homemade cold brew, my homemade nut milk. I've been trying to get off all gums um, just to really help kind of with my gut flora as well as um, hormonal acne that may result because of my gut flora being off because of like gums. They're just not overall good for hormone regulation. So I've been trying to get off of them, meaning no more Oatly for Mary, which is fine. Um, so I've been trying to make like a still delicious, like still great, still hearty nut milk um, that I can have with my morning coffee and I made one you guys I have been loving this um it's so simple I'll link a nut milk recipe down below but literally you can customize it um you can add whatever you want in it's usually just one part soaked nuts with four parts water so I'll do like since I did coconut in this I did like I think I did actually a half a cup of soaked cashews maybe even three quarters cup three quarters cup soaked cashews and then four cups of water and then i did probably like a fourth a cup of light coconut milk after i had strained it i just put it back in a blender with that cinnamon vanilla you could add dates if you wanted it to be sweeter all in the recipe it's so good and honestly i think like i don't know i just feel like with what we eat like yeah, you could not eat processed stuff and whatever, but there's so much greenwashing going on out there. And I'm not saying Oatly is greenwashing. I'm just saying I think that it's important to like support small, make what you can at home and know what you're eating. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to like, I can make it. So why wouldn't I, you know? So yeah, um, the next one, these, the last favorites that I have, except for this. Um, the next one I actually don't have with me and it's Topo Chico, but it's just a sparkling water. Um, I can insert a picture of it, but it is my new fave. I have been loving it. My sister Anna got me onto it. And it's literally just carbonated water, but it hits stiff. It really does. It's in like kind of like a beer um, type bottle, and it just makes you feel cool when you're drinking it, and it tastes really good. I really like it like before dinner, when I'm cooking, stuff like that. So yeah, Topo Chico um next one i actually took it back to the library because i finished it but it is live in love the book by thomas Rett's wife lauren akins and it's so good i really enjoyed it i loved hearing more about them um and her story specifically um it's, it's just a great story so if you're looking for a new book and if you like autobiographies i really recommend you give it a read she talks a lot about her faith about adopting a kid from uganda um about her and Thomas Rhett's relationship, about growing up together and how they ended up getting married. It's just really, really good. It's a heartwarming story and I really enjoyed it. So that is one book that I loved. And then another one, well, honestly, the library in general, I've been loving because it's so easy. Like, and I don't need to be buying all of these books. It makes no sense. So anyways, um, but another book that I got from the library read and then returned was um, Women, Food and God. And I really recommend that if you've had any sort of body image issues, which is sadly to say is the majority of the population, um, I recommend that you read it. Um, it is titled Women, Food, and God, but that does not mean that only women can read it. Like, Avi, um, it is so, it's just great. I think she did a really good job in it, and I'm not going to say everything in it resonated with me because it didn't. However, it was so, like, educating for me to be aware of different like different people's different struggles with food um because I definitely struggled with food myself um and it really helped me to see like okay am I nourishing my body am I being conscious when I'm eating am I not just being conscious what I'm eating but being conscious when I'm eating um and 
can I listen to hunger cues and fullness cues? And can I love myself through that, you know? So I really think it would be a really great book if you feel like any of that resonates with you. Um, next, OMG, you guys, Firefly Lane on Netflix is so good. It is, I, again, I love heartwarming stuff. It's so heartwarming. It's so real. I, it's just about two best friends and like it's three different points of their life kind of going through time and you like stuff gets uncovered and obviously but I think like watch the first episode and at least for me after the first episode I was hooked and now so my boyfriend's out of town and usually like I spend the days with my girlfriends and then the night with my boyfriend because he works during the day because he's an old man um but he's been out of town which honestly like if you're watching this this has been a nice break from you but I love you um but I have been watching that show like during the night because <laughs> I'm not like with him so it's like my new thing and I love it um anyways but uh it's so good just watch it just do it okay also I have class soon oh Blake texted me hey um okay next is the workout that I've been doing every single day for the past like two weeks um because I am a firm believer and First of all, I'm a firm believer that movement in itself is so personal. And I think I, this is such a dicey subject, but I personally feel better when I'm doing low impact movement, moving every single day than like working out really hard at the gym five days a week and having two rest days where it's like cheat day. I just, I, that's, that doesn't resonate with me. If that resonates with you, that's awesome. Um, and like you do you and different things work for different people, you know? So I have been doing Tasha Franken every single morning. I have added it to my morning routine and I have loved it. I have been off of yoga actually. Like I haven't been going to any studios or anything, um, which I know I'll loop back around to that, but I've just been really enjoying like moving in my space, like in my apartment getting my yoga mat out, doing that, and like just strengthening my body myself even though I'm doing a workout. It's just different. Um, and also like integrating it within my morning routine. Like by 8.30 I've already finished my workout and it feels so good and it really sets the tone for such an accomplished day. So yeah, I would really recommend that you guys try Tasha out. Um, she is a light. I absolutely love her as a person. I love her workouts. Um, and as a segue for that, Kenzie Burke actually um, was who I found out about Tasha Franken from. And Kenzie Burke is, I've been following Kenzie for like a really long time. Um, and she had the whole thing with food combining. And I honestly, like when she was hanging out with Maggie McDonald and stuff, I was like, oh, this is like, she's kind of like, I didn't know. I don't know. I wasn't like the biggest fan of her, but I didn't, I just, she wasn't my like all time fave. Um, but recently she's like my favorite i have been loving kenzie's stuff i think she's so first of all okay the segue is her podcast food sex and money is so good she has such a wide variety of spiritual healers um fitness people uh people <laughs> professionals um business women it's just really up my alley and she talks about very taboo topics which i love um and she is just overall like really really a cool girl who is on a very deep path to just like overall becoming more spiritually well well-rounded um which is definitely like my goal here on earth too so i really love kenzie um and i love her podcast especially um, I always put it on in the morning when I'm like making my fruit bowl or whatever. I've also been doing food combining, which I used to struggle with. And maybe I'll do a video on this, but again, food combining doesn't work for everyone. I'm not going to tell you that like it's scientifically like whatever, because I know there was a ton of backlash around food combining. However, it's been working really well for me as has a primarily plant-based diet and a grain-free diet. I know that sounds very restrictive, um, but I struggled with horrible, horrible bloating to the point where I was extremely uncomfortable for the last year and a half. Um, 
and so about a month ago i was like you know what i want to take charge i want to figure this out and i realized that a lot of my bloating was coming from in like not combined first of all my body just doesn't thrive off of animal protein i've realized that um and some people's does but i also didn't grow up eating a lot of animal protein so it makes sense that my body wouldn't thrive off of it um and i think my body also just thrives off of eating starches with starches eating proteins with proteins things like that so um yeah kenzie has just kind of like that's been reintroduced into my life i did food combining like whenever that first started like i tried it out and i was like yeah like whatever um i kind of liked it but i don't know um but in just like kind of repairing the microbiome of my gut as well as reducing as much bloating as i can i find that um food combining really eases my digestion and leaves me feeling satisfied but not bloated and i do know a little bit of bloating is normal however what i was experiencing wasn't normal frankly um and it was uncomfortable i do not feel confident in myself um and honestly you guys i feel like a different person i feel so good i just i honestly have just been really listening to my body and doing what my body needs and i know this might be controversial but i think that like in order to figure out what works for you you need to try out different things and I think I'm really like kind of figuring out what works for me. So yeah, um, that is, oh wait, no. <laughs> My last favorite <laughs> is the Elta MD um, UV Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Facial Sunscreen. Um, it, I have the tinted one. I really like the tinted one. Um, and it has hyaluronic acid, zinc, um i wear it every day it really helps my skin um and it doesn't make me break out that's like the biggest part of the favorite i also really like the super goop glow screen this one's a little bit more mattifying than the glow screen um so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching sorry i kind of went on a tangent there but i really wanted to share that with you guys and i think a lot of you would really enjoy kenzie's podcast and kenzie's content in general um and that doesn't mean all of it has to resonate with you i definitely follow people on instagram where and like just like watch their youtube videos and stuff like that that where not all of their philosophy resonates with me and i think that's normal like i don't think i follow anyone whose whole life resonates with me um so yeah um if you guys have any video requests seriously feel free to reach out if you guys have anything you like want to say reach out to me um i always link my instagram down below it's just at mary Montanero. um my tiktok's linked down below too um and yeah i post new videos every tuesday and thursday i'm kind of thinking about maybe going back to the monday wednesday friday i really like being super active on youtube um so maybe i'll do that let me know what you think um I feel like i had other like random housekeeping things if you're still here you're a real one um but yeah i love you guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one thanks guys ciao manny